Tonight on the live feed, we bring you a performance by Minneapolis band Dusty Heart from the 2019 Boats and Bluegrass Festival. The poetically haunting sound of Dusty Heart blends roots, indie, pop, and folk that helps them to stand out in a sea of artists labeled as Americana. I sat down with Barbara Jean and Molly Dean of Dusty Heart after their set at Boats and Bluegrass to find out what makes these talented songwriters tick, where they draw their inspiration from, and what they've been listening to lately. I'm Bill Stoneberg with Barbara Jean and Molly Dean of Dusty Heart on the live feed. This is the live feed. It's your connection to live music and entertainment in Winona. Support for this program is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. We took the back road from the start. Half broke old Chevy. Nothing's left but Paul. Sunset in the western sky. Days get dark. Down goes on the Sinking to make way for the star When will you do When no one's looking after you When will you see At the end of a long, hard day Where will you go When the bottom's all that lies below I'm here with Molly Dean and Barbara Jean of Dusty Heart. Well, you guys are Dusty Heart, kind of, right? Yeah, yes, we are. Excellent, excellent. But you had a couple guys playing with you today, you know, bass and guitar, which added a really cool sound, you know. Um, it was I was kind of wondering about, like, okay, how do, how do they play live? Because I've never seen you guys, you know, and listening to your album, I was like, okay, there's some stuff in there that, you know, kind of atmosphere and makes it, you know. Do you guys always play with uh, a couple musicians or? No. Whenever we can. Yeah. yeah, when it makes sense. Okay. We do a lot of shows, just the two of us, okay. and have a more intimate sound. So the city pages said you guys have like a rural campfire chemistry, you know, and I thought that was like perfect, like a perfect fit for boats and bluegrass, you know, and then listening to your album, it makes sense. Is that something you guys kind of go for? Is it just come out that way? or? I, I think it's, I don't think we necessarily go for any particular sound that would even be shaped in that way. I think that's what comes out naturally because there's an intimacy and there's a subtlety 
to the harmonies and to the instrumentation, and I think that that would fall into that category. But when I, you know, when I think of campfire, I think of um, I think of big sky and stars and and elements and space and friendship and conversation. And I love that they would consider our music to fall into that category because that's what life is about, right? So. Uh, but I, I don't think we point in that direction. I think that that's just a natural um, movement that happens when we play. Uh, what, have, what have you guys been uh, listening to lately? Like, what's on heavy rotation? What would you recommend to someone? Big Thief. A lot of that. Um, your turn. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> uh hip-hop woman named Eve. I really like her new record. I, I mean, we listen to a lot of different stuff. Also, Pieta Brown's new record is really beautiful. It just came out on, I think, Friday or a week ago Friday. So beautiful. We're kind of all over the map. Yep. Nice. Hip-hop. I like that. I, that was actually something I was going to ask you. Is there anything you guys listen to that might surprise people, you know? That's perfect. So good to be here. What an awesome, awesome festival in the best location ever. Um, Humbird was so sweet looking out at that river bluff listening to her tunes so we just feel real lucky to be to be along for the ride well i'd like to see you baby coming after me i'm so mad about you darling If I can't have you, baby, there'll be lonesome melody. My heart is like a freight train, barely laying on you. And I'm on my way back to something true. Marching darker than blue 
I was wishing at the well before you even came to town. I'll be wishing you well when our love is breaking down. My heart is like a freight train barreling down on you. And I'm on my way back to something true. No matter which way it's gone. Deep down below. 
You had an album, a self-titled album, in 2018. Um, any plans for something in the near future? Anything new coming down the pike? Or? New things coming down the pike, for sure. I mean, we're, we're shaping where we're going to land, and you know, we're still like really exploring what that's going to sound like just from the foundation up. You know, It's, it's a really kind of exciting thing to not know what's going to happen. <laughs> But we both really want to put out another record and tour behind it and, and do that. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, it feels like, you know, our our first and only record came out last year, which is pretty recent. And it felt like with that, because we hadn't worked together previously, we were just starting to really find our sound. Um, so it's fun to think, like now that we've we made that record and we've been touring it for a couple of years, playing those songs and knowing each other better and traveling, it's fun to think about like how things have evolved and continue to take shape from there. Like I'm, I'm really excited for... Nice. Nice. Well, that's cool. You know, excited for the process and let it, let it go, you know. Um, so how do you guys write? Do you guys like kind of do you each bring a song in and then you work on it or do you work on it together from the start or how's that go? It's it's a mix. It's a mix of bringing ideas and also starting in silence and it being in the same space and sharing that and just beginning to play or just beginning to sing or just throwing out like a cool melody and then a harmony will come to that and then it'll be, wow, the viola would be great with that let's build you know that sort of thing so it's I don't know it it, it varies yeah there yeah. isn't like one one way that we do things I think at first it was natural for us to bring songs of our own to the table and workshop them but then as we've spent more time together it's become a little bit even more organic I would say in terms of and and we're open to we're always talking about like how can we approach this in a way that we haven't ever done before and get out of both of our individual comfort zones and our comfort zone together, you know? Cool. I like that.
And then, are you, so are you guys still on tour right now? Are you on tour supporting your new album or just dates here and there? Or It's more, I mean, we're not on tour as much as we were last year, um, but still touring behind the record for sure. Um, but it's, it's a lot of dates here and there and writing and... And that was like a very deliberate decision going into the second half of this year. We were really like... We're only going to say yes to things that come our way that we really want to do, like Boats and Bluegrass. It was like, no-brainer, yes, we want to do that. Um, but otherwise, the idea was to spend more time working on new ideas, getting ready for next record. So that's kind of like how it's landed. All right, cool. So what I'm kind of feeling here is there's, there is stuff coming up, you know. We don't know what it is yet, but that's cool. That's exciting. I like that. I like that. It's exciting and terrifying. <laughs> right? Well, that's why it's exciting, right? <laughs> yes. You can't have excitement without a little bit of fear. Yeah, a little bit of terror. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And since and this is you guys' first time at Boats and Bluegrass, uh, what do you think so far? It's amazing. I love it. It's the best backdrop I've ever seen behind that stage. And this one as well with the beautiful carved paddles and I don't know, there's it's very 
family feeling. And that's always a wonderful space to come into as a musician and everyone's just thrilled that you're there you know that's wonderful yeah yeah it's it seems like a very sweet party all around from the stages throughout the day to the vendors that are here to all the people camping out and I can only imagine that it gets rowdy and fun at night you know and the music just continues which is really cool yeah totally and I think you guys not only your sound but I think you guys fit in really well here just like during your set, I, I uh, noticed that you encouraged kids to come up and dance, you know, and it was like, yeah, that's exact, that's Boats and Bluegrass, you know. Totally. Well, cool. Um, how can people find out where you guys are playing next? A uh, website or Facebook? Where should they go first? Web- website is probably the best, dustyheartmusic.com. Okay, great, great. So I've been here with Molly Dean and Barbara Jean, and they are Dusty Heart. We're here at Boats and Bluegrass 2019. Thanks so much for being on the show tonight, guys. Thanks for having us. You. Appreciate it.
Thanks again to Dusty Hearts, Barbara Jean, and Molly Dean for joining us tonight on the live feed. To find out more about the band, go to DustyHeartMusic.com. For more great local and regional music, tune into the live feed every Wednesday and Friday night at 6, right here on 89.5 KQAL. I'm Bill Stoneberg, and we've just heard from Dusty Hart on the live feed. Thanks for listening to the live feed. The live feed is produced by KQAL-FM on the campus of Winona State University. For more information on tonight's show, visit us at kqal.org. Do you love local and regional music? Find podcasts of the live feed and all your favorite KQAL shows at kqal.org. The live feed is made possible by a grant from the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.